So my massive game coming up, it's all about getting to this stage, it's all about everybody that's been with, with this one, it's not about who plays at the weekend, who played at York, it's about who played against Walsh Brown, it's about who didn't play in all those games and what's been training. So I just want to bit talk about the squad and uh, what everybody brings and you know it's important everybody gets recognised for what they do and what, what they bring to the group. So uh, start at the beginning, which is number three for us, strangely, so three quiet lad came, we've seen a lad develop since he came over the last couple of years, Kieran Buchanan. Yeah, I think Buck is um, you could call him the one percent man who does all the stuff that really goes unnoticed. Um, kick chases, kick pressure, stuff like that. Is um, yeah, like I say, he's a bit of an unknown hero, I think. And quite lads had a good year off the field as well with his with his baby and his, uh, his Scotland. Yeah, he's six, yeah. at the moment. Yeah, obviously he's just had his young one. Um, but it's starting to come out with Sean a bit now. He's okay. He's like his um, TikTok videos, doesn't he? It's he's quite funny. Come back, come back there. He's probably been one of our best players actually this year. Yeah, yeah. honestly, the most consistent player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. real dry sense of humour as well, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it's funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Number four, another young fella seems to get bigger every week. Josh Hudson. Allison. Yeah, Audrey, like I said, it's same same with Audrey. He's, he's kind of developed into a really good rugby player now. He come come to us a couple of years ago. He was quite raw. Um, obviously, he had the athletic ability, but it was just kind of getting to understand the rugby, I guess, and, and just getting up to kind of being a bit a bit tougher. And he's, he's, he's you know he's been able to do that. And, and obviously, next year he's going to go on to, to bigger and better things. So it's, it's all well done to him, really. And other end of the career to, to those two boys, the lad who's he's just hit two hundred and fifty games. He's not with us at the moment, but he's he always an absolute club man. Johnny Gamble, what can you say about Jesse? Yeah, Jesse, Jesse, and he's an absolute lunatic, but. You wouldn't have him any other way, you know, he's got an out of gold. Um, and what he's done this year and throughout his career at Battlers, you know, it's, it's an, an achievement in itself. Yeah, great talker on the field as well, isn't he? Yeah, never shot something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and, and maybe a quieter fellow going down number six, Ben White. Yeah, White again, said, but again, probably one of our most consistent players for, for a few years now. Um, can play six, can play for eight, can play centre, yeah. <laughs> can play anywhere. Yeah, and then there's his real son as well. Yeah, he's real <laughs> awesome, yeah. If, you, if you don't like his team in training, you're guaranteed to win. Um, so yeah, his Linus is favourite as well. He's played every game since he's been here, that's some good. That's what his Linus is some. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh Woods, number seven, Kevin, fairly quiet at the beginning of the year, but he, again, finding his feet in the group now. And, and really starting to show us what he can do on the field. Cold as a cucumber with those drop goals. Yeah, one thing, I, I mean, we all know that he was a class player, you know, playing games at Lee and stuff like that, and he told us a bit, to be fair. Um, he had a bit of a tough year last year, and I think he lost his, th- lost his love of rugby a bit. Um, but, I mean, he said it to me a couple of times, his battle's made him fall back in love of rugby, and he's absolutely loving it here. So, we're, we're starting to see the fruition of him enjoying himself. That's good, that's good. Yeah. And the man who's been, there's a, there's a, a, a few players on this list of core who, who've been with us through some real good times, you, yourselves in, 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 in that Adam Gladwell on the right. Yeah, I suppose we've been through some tough times as well, haven't we as well, you know, yeah. we, we didn't all start well, but yeah, Lenz is, again, he's yeah, a really good player, kind of does, um, does a lot of work that I guess um, some of the middles kind of don't do it, you know, he'll, he'll do big minutes, he'll do a lot of work that people don't see, and he's, he's a really consistent player, someone that you definitely want in your team. No pressure, James, number nine, Alistair Leake. The little Cumbrian Todd. No, Leake, uh, for me, he's... Um, one of the most underrated hookers, maybe players in championship. Uh, I think what he does for us, he brings another dimension, his speed, his, his eye for a try. Um, and pound for pound, he's one of the best tacklers I've seen. And, and is it the best hooker in the championship? He's really a look when I say that. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I think he's definitely up there. Uh, number 10, again, Keegan with us, with us through that, uh, that uh, period earlier on. Obviously, moved away to do, do different things. Um, Super League and so on, back with us as he brought that experience back to the squad this year. Yeah, he's really he's good, Keegan, at training off the field. He's, you know, he's a good talker, he's, he's got a lot of experience, he's played a lot of games, and, and uh, he kind of knows what he needs to do off the field and, and in training to, to keep the standards up. Uh, so he's a really good talker and he's really good to have, to have in the group. I think you can see that at York as well off the field, though. He was a kind of influence, wasn't he? Was, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Number 11, there's not much you cannot catch it about Dave Manning, what, what's a machine he's dead. Yeah. The man who's man who is daft as a brush, um, especially with beer. But what he does on the pitch, so there's not many people that can do the championship super league in our I don't care what he's a, he's a, he's well dressed, <coughs> absolutely astronomical. Um, and I would pick some people up, I've seen him pick people up from dropouts and put them on the back, he's, he's a freak. Yeah, he's not a man you'd rather on the field with you, wouldn't he? Yeah, I prefer the next minute against him. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. yeah. 
Uh, Ladders not, not in at the moment, you feel for him, Vicks has been, he's been crucial again for the last couple of years, but Lucas Walsh on with 12. Yeah, great, like I said, yeah, been, when, he, when he's in our, in our edge, he's probably one of the, you know, one of the best back rows in, in the competition, really. He's, he's probably scores a lot of tries, really good close to the line. You know, he's, he's, his arms are that long, he can do tackling for about three people, I think, so he throws about three different gaps. But in terms of what he brings to the team, like I said, he, he brings a lot of threat on the edge, which is, which is what you need from the back rows. Just for revenge, also, I've got can you remember 13, James Brown? Yeah, no, obviously, Brown, he's, he's, had a, he's been playing really well this year. Um, I think he's got, got a bit fitter. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he's, he's seeing, seeing, seeing it, it coming to his performance. He's playing big minutes. Like I said, he's a real handful to put down. Um, obviously, a real challenge with the ball offloads and everything. And, uh, and when, when he's playing well, there's not, there's not many forwards better in the Championship. And back to another lad that came from London, these two London lads are the nicest fellas you'll make off the field, but on the field they're a different cat of fish out of Jimmy. Yeah, he is, yeah. Jimmy, 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 a man who's brought some experience in again his first year with us this year, Elliot Kerr, 15. Yeah, Elliot's good, like I said, again, someone who's, who's really good off the field and, and you know, he's putting good performances on it as well. Um, he's kind of really dedicated and, and on the field he, he does a lot of work, you know, he does a lot of carries, he wants to get the ball, he wants to be involved in every play and, and uh, like I said, he's just a really solid play, you know, he won't miss any tackles finish on the edge when he needs to do it and for someone that you need when you know a player that you want on your team definitely someone that you want on your team and he's a good lad who'll do any job you ask him to do on the field yeah, he's he seems really strong as well isn't it? yeah 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 no, he's a good player good <laughs> and uh, number 16 Alec <laughs> Wardy needs much of an introduction now the Michael Ward fans favourite Wardy <laughs> <laughs> what can I say about him hang on legs uh, no Wardy is, is, is good as Wardy you know he comes up with their big shots and he does some good bound stormy runs and he's getting a bit fair. i seen him jogging down the street, true story. <laughs> well, well, he's not rolling, but um, yeah, what well, is what he brings enthusiasm, you know, and dedication, he loves playing here. And it's really been come back to the leadership group as well at the club now, it's really one of their yeah, more experienced yeah, managers. Unfortunately, so. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> <laughs> He was telling him that would be a winger last week. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, Blake again, uh, Blake. Uh, Back with us in 16 and has come back again and really enjoyed being back with the group, hasn't he? Yeah, again, Blake, you can kind of put him hooker back row. He'll play prop, he'll play 13 for you, really consistent player. Um, like I said, really one of, like I said, one of the toughest players in championship. Yeah, never take a back on star. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, even Manu, Blakey, like BK, they're the kind of players you want in your team. Like, just, you know what I mean? We'll cheer you up, we'll do anything for you off the field, do anything for you on the field. Young fella who's. Uh, He's had um, a few good games this year, a few good games last year, a couple of kids, a bit of an injury, he'll give him a bit of grief for his short arm. <laughs> the photos we're going to hear, George Senior. Cat flap. <laughs> yeah, he's, um, I think he's settled down now, he's got the worst haircut I've ever seen a barber have. But, um, yeah, George is you know, he's a young kid, well, he's a young kid, he's, coming, he's starting to come to his, um, like his prime sort of thing. And I think he's a bit more game time, um, he's been unlucky with injuries, but he's definitely got the potential to be a really, really good championship player, if not, maybe better. Another lad who I, I wouldn't uh, call death, but you probably would do. Tom, Tom Lillycrop, then, too. <laughs> probably one of the weirdest, weirdest people on the team, Tom, to be fair. Smartest and weirdest. Uh, but in terms of what, what he did at the start of the year, like I said, he was not really fit, and, it, and it, um, he kind of got back to the best form that he'd been in. You know, I think there was a couple of years where his form dipped a little bit, but at the start of the year, he got fit, and, it, and he, were, he, were, he were kind of doing what he used to do, you know, Skittling folk, doing doing a lot of work, doing a lot of tackling, and it was bringing bringing a lot of energy and kind of impact to the team, which is what he used to do. So hopefully he can kind of get fit and, and, and help us into the running to the end of the year. They just give you that, isn't it? When the game's tight and you need somebody maybe to bust a line or, or cause an impact or yeah, a bit of trouble. Yeah, it's different. You know, when you bring people off the bench, you, you, you know, you need the game to change. So that's where we're, that changes by you know the pace of the game or, or just bringing something different to what what was on previously, what was on the field before. Another lad new in this this year seems to really settling in now. Sammy Kibola. Yeah, big Sammy. Yeah, he, he, he's um, waited his time when he first started, you know, to get his shot. Got his shot, played a good, good few games. Fell out of favour a little bit. Um, 
So he went out on loan to get a bit match fitness, come back, and give him about six kg lighter. He got fit. So, you know, it's testament that he's, he's playing week in, week out now. So, really, you've got to take your hat to Sammy for, for going down, getting his um, getting his hard work in, and, you know, he's, he's paying now. Young man with, a, I think, a very bright future, Aidan McGowan, 21. Yeah, Eddie, again, like I said, obviously coming on loan from Huddersfield. Uh, again, quite, quite a funny lad coming out of shell now. Um, now you've got a couple of the younger lads in, um, Hodgie and, and Jimmy have a little bit of a kind of a little bit of a friendship going on. But again, he can play winger, fullback, got really good feet, you know, really strong um, and fast. Probably, probably one of our fastest players, which everyone seems to think we're lacking a bit of pace. So, <laughs> but yeah, he, he's good. Isn't it? He'll only get better. You know, he's only young, and the more he plays championship level and tests himself, obviously the higher he'll get in his career. And joking at pace, the man you beat Keith Lee last last second of the game, really, in that game earlier on. Is there a bloke in the championship you'd rather have catching that ball or the wing than Dale Morton as a finisher than Dale? No, Dale, Dale, Dale's class, so, you know. Dale's been for years, I remember when we was playing against the we used to trap you up time at penalties, he's just a pain in the ass to play against, and I can guarantee you that everyone that plays against him thinks the same. Yeah, um, yeah he, like I said, for me, he's getting better as he's getting older. We talked about you know every every player in the squad makes a contribution. You know that's not featured in, in the in a competitive game. This year, but Josh Millthorpe's in. He trains. He works. Lads like that make you able to do things that you need to do. Right? Yeah, it does. Millie, you can't knock him. Like I said, he's here. He's probably one one of the first here every session. Training works out in the gym. Works out on the field. And like I said, if you keep going that way, you'll get a shot at some point. We said it's good. You know, if, if there's not enough people training. You know the main team can't can't get out of their session what they need to get out, and, and unfortunately, some people have to kind of do that, do the hard yards at the start of their career, and he's doing that, and he's, he's always got a smile on his face, which is good. And again, we're right the other end of somebody's career. Hopefully, he's got a couple of years left, but twenty-four, but very key. Happy it's money, rugby league. He's very key. He absolutely <laughs> celebrates everything. Yes, yes, get in there, get in there. Well, he just brings enthusiasm, experience, toughness. Goal, he's, he's, he's everything that you'd want in your team, you know, whether it be playing or whether it's not, he still brings the same the same enthusiasm to every session, every training. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like every game. If he, set, he does it at training as well, so yeah. it, you know, if he starts celebrating, other teams are celebrating, and it, you know, it brings the level of training up. Yeah. Well, and it also makes it more competitive, more fun, you know, the more yeah. everyone's having a bit more of a laugh, but, but we're doing it in a competitive manner then, you know what I mean, it can't, it can't be bad. Again, the squad man who played one game for us in the, early in the Challenge Cup, so part of the 1895 journey. Uh, out of the way from us at the moment, but Toby Richardson, again, big contribution in training and lets you know what you need to do. Yeah, to Toby's come and slotted in really well. <coughs> you know, he, uh, he knew a few lads before he came, but he's just slotted in and uh, he's only a young kid, so obviously we're an aging team, so I, I've just said to Toby, I said, you need to stick around and bide your time, keep around the lads, keep them involved in the place, and uh, obviously, hopefully, you'll get shot. Young man, I sat in the stand with the beginning of 2020 and he said he would, his aim was to get a few games in and um, Sherry went from there and then he, he got a game at Featherstone, he's not been out of the team since back from his injury, Niall Flynn. Yeah, Flynn, again, young, young, young player, I think he was 24 last week or 25, so, you know, for a middle to, he's been playing for three years now, probably, two or three years and for a middle to be, to be doing that and, and do it, being as consistent as he is at that age, you know, it can only get better. He's fit, strong, got real good kind of leg drive, and he does a lot. Of, you know, he does a lot of tidying up for the other middles. You know, mm. he'll do a lot, of, a lot of work off the ball. So I think he's definitely a middle that, you know, the other, the other, the other people in the middle appreciate having him on the on, on the side because he he tidies up a lot of their mistakes. So like that, like he says, he's, he's only young. It's the middle that we ideally want to keep. Yeah, you know, because he does the stuff that no one sees. And again, another young fella, good career ahead. Keeps going, keeps his head down. Ali Burton. Yeah, Ali's really good. You know, his distribution probably, uh, yeah, he's he's best, best, probably the best, best we've got at the club. Um, he, he's just a bit green, I think sometimes he, just, he does a little a little bit of brain farts, but I think he's only going to get better with experience and the more he plays, whether it be here or he goes out alone. But the more he plays and the more he trains, the better he's going to get. He's physically strong, he's fast, he can pass. He just needs to keep playing and keep, you know, there's no good himself on the sideline, so he's got a load of unslit and. To keep consistently playing, he's going to get better and better and better. He's yeah. got a great attitude now. Yeah, 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 a really good attitude. Like I said, the more he plays, it we've, 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 doesn't matter where he plays, as long as he plays with experienced players and, and good, good halfbacks, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll kind of teach him a lot and, and he's got all the ability to kind of probably be suited to it, really. 
I play that, I've had the pleasure of seeing twice in two spells here, and the first time round as a young fella, it was just unbelievable. We've got, still a great player, good role experience now, Greg Johnson. Yeah, Greg's really good. You know, he's um, been about the block, he's been a couple of Super League clubs and stuff like that, and he brings experience, great person to have around the team, you know, helps all the lads out. Um, <coughs> like I say, you can't buy experience, and he helps young kids out and stuff like that, he's really good. And the lad that came in, I think halfway through last, last year, a bit of really impact, Martin Riley. Yeah, Rambo again, one that kind of come out of his cell this year. Um, I said, like to think he's, a, he's one of the top lads here, I think. But uh, <laughs> said it, the form he's shown this year, probably again, probably one of the best best middles in the competition, to be fair. That he's a bit different to the rest of them, you know, the way he runs, he uses his footwork. Um, and I said, he's got like an offload as well, and, and he can do good minutes. He's, he's, like I said, again, a really good age for. For, for a championship prop, he's got a lot of years in him and, and a lot of growth in him and like I said, if he grows, he keeps getting better. If he grows any more, he won't get through that door. He <laughs> <laughs> will be a, a top player, yeah. A bit, a bit like Flynn in a couple of others you mentioned, really consistent that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And last but not least, he's, he was here, then he went, then he's back, he's back a little while for us, obviously he's um, not my player, but he's, he's enjoying being back with his look, Ole at 32. Yeah, Ole, Ole is, is, is class. You know, he's got the ability to, well, he's at two blink now, he's not really had a fair crack, but a lot of things work out for him. But you can see what he, what he brings to us when he comes back, he's got that killer pass. He's a great lad to have around the players, he's always happy, he's always smiling. Um, and I really think he adds another dimension to us. And just finally, I spoke to you boys before about the, the pride you've got being club captains and leading the team, so to lead the team out at Wembley, what's that, that mean to you? A dream come true, really, it's like, even just to play. Especially in the age that me and Brown are at now, it's kind of, you know, just very unlikely it's going to happen again. And like I said, I've been playing rugby for 25, 26 years, you know. And then, you know, when you're a little kid, that's what you want to play at Wembley. It doesn't matter what level you're playing that you want to play at Wembley. And, you know what I mean? It's something that, that I said, it's probably going to be one of the proudest days of your life, aside from definitely in rugby career, anyway. Yeah, same with you, Yeah, exactly the same. It's things that you dream about when you're a kid. Growing up and how to lead a team out like this and how close we are together as a group and how we feel about the club, it's just a really special day. Well, you've earned everything you're going to get down there, so go down and enjoy it and do yourself proud. Cheers, man. Cheers.